So there is more managers to choose from in my GM mode. And today we're going to be breaking down each different manager and who is the best, in my opinion, to use in my GM mode. So smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and let's get straight into the video. Let's talk about Adam Pearce. So his power card is increased the levels of all active rivalries by one. A very, very good power card to have early on in the game because as you guys are building your rivalries, this is something that you'll want to pop to make sure that at your pay-per-views, you are getting as much viewership as you can to steal as many fans from the other shows. So this one is a very good one, but... Yet again, this is for the first season. I would say he comes in clutch afterwards. It does get quite pointless because you have built your roster. You've built your rivalries at this point and you don't need him in this situation. Next up, we have Sonia and hers is power cards in the store are free for this week. So that can be good. But for me personally, I would say this is a meh because you're more than likely going to build up a good repertoire of power cards once you guys start completing some objectives. So this isn't very, very useful at all. And the ones that end up in the store are not always the best because the best ones come from objectives. This one for me is probably my favorite, my personal favorite. Let me know down below what you think. But Stephanie McMahon, you get the McMahon presence and you earn twice as much money from an arena attendance this week. And this is really, really good when it comes to late on the season. And you have started unlocking the more higher budget arenas because that two times money can come in clutch when it comes to building your main events and all your different fights and different promos that you guys need. As well as the fact of the effects and everything like that can get costly when you start leading up to the end season and you guys are spending a ton of money for each pay-per-view. So Stephanie McMahon is probably one of the best, in my personal opinion, to have as a GM. Xavier Woods is a decent one in my opinion also. So he has cheat codes. So you select a superstar from an opposing brand's roster. They will permanently join your roster next week. The selected superstar may not be a title holder and not usable in week one. So just make sure that you guys are trying to keep an eye on who the other rosters are picking up. And this could be a very tasty one, in my opinion, because not always a fan favorite or a popular wrestler gets picked up by the other roster and they don't always put the title on them. So this could be something where you can be stealing their dark horse and using it for your benefit. Tyler Breeze, absolute cheat code. This is the official cheat code. Quick recovery, all superstars immediately recover 20 stamina. And as you guys know, very early on and towards the end of a season, your stamina can deplete so, so far. So trying to build entertaining fights can be very, very hard. And stamina means a lot in this game. So Tyler Breeze's GM card could be very, very good to help you guys maintain that rating and maintain the fans. Other than the fact that Kurt Angle looks like probably one of the most official GMs in this game, his card is just pants. So you got Heart of Gold, all charity promos are free to book and have their results double for this week. It's absolute stinker GM card power. So for me, I wouldn't even touch this if I was you. So avoid this one and let me know down below. Do you have the same opinion or do you think that he has some good benefits? But personally, I do not. Yet again, Eric Bischoff is another great one because this can help massively when it comes to a big main event like WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, these big expensive budget pay-per-views. And this one is backstage booking. Booking costs for all show logistics are free for this week. Very, very good when it comes to an expensive main event and an expensive pay-per-view help you massively very early on and yet again very late on into the seasons let me know down below what you think the legend himself mick foley cactus jacked is his gm card and this is selecting an opposing brand two superstars who participate in their show next week will be injured select at random so yet again this is something that is a hit or miss for me because you could use him and he's very very good if he hits the people that you want 
But if he hits two wrestlers that maybe that GM is decided to rest for the week or they're not using them at all, this doesn't come in any shape or form as a benefit for you. So it's a bit of a waste. So if I was you, I would not use Mick Foley going forward to give yourself the best head start in GM. So we have finally the custom superstar and this one comes with Legend Whisperer. The first Legend you sign this week will be free. This could be very, very good for you yet again when you're starting a new season, mid-season or even late season. Just because a Legend can do massive, massive things to your ratings. One, because they always have good popularity and two, because their star power is great at the same time. So interest in a fight, as well as trying to make sure it's an entertaining entertaining fight, is something that Legends can definitely guarantee for you. So getting them very early on and building a different type of rivalry around them with someone else that's popular and that complements their class, this could be a very, very good way forward. And sometimes you can find a 10-week superstar on a contract so maybe like someone like the rock or stone cold and use them very early on to get them views booming and build up popularity of different fighters but let me know down below what you think of this one and then let's cover finally the brand gm powers now let's talk about brands and we have got raw with this is war. Select an opposing brand to have three ran randomly selected superstars that cannot be booked into matches next week. So this for me is something that kind of irritates me a little bit. It's because it's randomly selected. It's not really something that you can control or it's not a situation that you can control. So I wouldn't personally pick this one just because it's random. And also Raw is probably one of my favorite brands out of WWE. So the fact that I can't use Raw because I don't like the GM power card is something that does niggle at me. Next up, we are looking at NXT. So fighting champion title matches book for this week will receive a large match rating boost. Absolutely amazing card if you guys are trying to use pay-per-view boosts and stuff like that. You are going to obviously have mostly title fights in a pay-per-view. And this could be something that gives you massive ratings to make your pay-per-view slap the other brand's pay-per-view. Next up, we have Next NXT 2.0. So we have Fresh Meat, and this is a really, really good one. So we have reduced the price of the next three agents you purchase this week by 50%. That is crazy good because sometimes you might see Roman Reigns sitting there and chilling and you might be able to pick him up on a permanent deal and you might be able to find another popular wrestler, someone like John Cena, even Brock Lesnar. They could be sitting there chilling and they have really good star power, popularity, good stamina and this could be something that you guys might want to try and pop to make sure that you can pick them up. So I would highly suggest keeping an eye out and playing around with this one because it can make for a fun, fun thing to pop when the right wrestlers are there. So WCW classically trained extend the duration of all current Legends contracts by five weeks. Could be another good one for you guys, but personally, I think picking up a Legend on a 10-week promotion is probably one of the best ways to go about it using something like this ain't going to benefit you in the long run so probably don't use wcw at all and stick to some of the others and finally my favorite and this is my best combination stephanie mcmahon smackdown birth of six legends so i know i'd said before about the raw one and it's random and it's something that actually irritates me but Six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by six. So this is massive when it comes to starting out in a new season because you can get some interesting fights very, very early on. And because they've got high popularity, or hopefully if you've chosen quite mediocre res uh, popularity wrestlers, you should easily be able to boost the interest in all of their fights just by popping this. And once you have popped this, I suggest that you build your roster around them superstars that end up getting the boost. And this can help you really, really so much 
when it comes to getting them ratings up so let me know down below which brand is your favorite i've been level up hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching